जय स्वामी नारायण डियर स्टूडेंट्स मेनी टाइम्स योर पेरेंट्स कम टू स्वामी जी एंड दे कंप्लेन अबाउट यू दैट स्वामी जी माई सन इज प्लेइंग वीडियो गेम्स होल डे वॉचिंग टीवी होल डे ही हैज नो वर्क अदर देन दिस मीडिया वॉट शुड वी डू इफ वी से नो देन ऑल्सो प्रॉब्लम इफ वी से यस देन ऑल्सो प्रॉब्लम सो वॉट इज द सोल्यूशन ऑफ दिस मीडिया How should we use media in our home dear students they ask us one question is this media good or bad effective or defective productive or non productive should we use or not dear students today in this video session we are going to present the ultimate solution for how to use media in a right way but before we understand whether media is good or bad effective or defective i would like to ask one question is salt good or bad is sugar good or bad food becomes tasty and sweet with the help of salt and sugar but there is one condition if salt and sugar are in the right quantity then food will become tasty and sweet otherwise same food will become such salty that you can't eat at all dear students it is said in our scripture that ati sarvatra varjo excess of anything is bad and dangerous to our life similarly to use media is not bad is not dangerous but the addiction of media is dangerous for our life and there are so many disadvantages of addiction of media dear students today i would like to present seven main disadvantages of addiction of media misuse of media as well as overuse of media dear students if you don't have note pen please take note pen and keep noting down this all the points because today's session will be a bit lengthy but i'm sure that is very very helpful to your life it will save your sanskar your family as well now the first disadvantage of media is loss of concentration capacity after watching tv after watching movies youtube videos and such social medias if you sit for reading if you sit for study you cannot concentrate your mind why because whatever the contents are consumed by your eyes will be going on in your mind there will be real inside your mind of this all contents it will not let you concentrate your mind video games and movies are the enemies of concentration it also reduces the focus thinking capability it also creates difficulty in sleep and it also causes horrible dreams scary dreams violent dreams now the second disadvantage of overuse of media is health issues by watching too much tv and such medias first of all it will damage to our eyes it will make your eyes weaker and according to harvard university research watching too much television significantly increases obesity and type 2 diabetes now the third disadvantage of misusing media is building bad habits dear students directly or indirectly movies tv shows video games register various kind of impression on our mind and generally we do what we see children are learning bad habits after watching the movies and tv shows they try to copy the actions dialogues and stunts from the movies in usa many children have tried to jump and swing like spider man and they lost their lives many children shot their own parents with the gun question is how they get such kind of ideas who gives them such kind of ideas they are known other than movies tv shows and such media indirectly it creates the criminal mindset within our mind but we don't and it doesn't end here it leads to the cruelty violence robbery smuggling murder and finally it also reaches 
to the rain. Dear students, here works the Gigo principle. What is this Gigo principle? It says the secret of your each and every actions. What is the meaning of Gigo? G I G O. Good in, good out. Garbage in, garbage out. Whatever data you will save in your computer, same data will be visible on your screen. Similarly, whatever data we save from our eyes, from our ears, those same data, same contents will reflect in our action. Media is throwing so many kinds of stuff. If you take good stuff in, good stuff will come out through our action. If you take the garbage stuff in, then garbage stuff will come out through our action. Dear students, our inputs determine our outputs. If you want to change your outputs, then you need to change your inputs. Now, the fourth disadvantage of overuse of media is waste of time. Dear students, addiction to social media, YouTube, video games finally sees our cream time for our study and education. And once you missed your valuable time, afterwards time doesn't return back. And by wasting time, he will become expert. Expert? You may surprise that he will become expert in which area? He will become expert in showing excuses. Because he has wasted his time, tomorrow teacher will ask him that why didn't you finish your classwork, your homework? Then he would be having very good excuses to show to his teacher. So my dear students, Finally, the overuse and misuse of media is wasting the time of our life and finally it is wasting our life. Now, the fifth disadvantage of media is brainwashing. Dear students, this is the most invisible disadvantage of media. People don't know that TV and movies are washing their brains, washing their realities, but it is happening at the ground. Whatever they are showing in TV and movies, real or fake, true or false, it is biasing our perspective, it is changing our perspective. It indirectly influences our culture, our emotion, our lifestyle and our family. Dear students, TV and movies are the most brainwashing resources. Here I would like to say one example. If you fill up full glass of milk and then you add just one drop of poison what will affect to you first full glass of milk or one drop of poison similarly when you watch movies when you watch the tv shows there will be 99 scenes good let's say inspiring but one bad sin is enough to spoil your sanskar and your spirituality now, the sixth disadvantage of media is career struggle. Those who got addicted to social media, YouTube and movies right from the student life and college life, they will face the big problems to settle down their career. They won't get the good job. And how will they get good job without good skills? They have wasted their time behind the medias. They didn't invest their time to improve their skills. Finally, they will not get the job. It will lead to the depression and sometimes it also leads to the suicide as well. So my dear students, overuse of media is also affecting our career, our future. Now, the seventh disadvantage, last and worst disadvantage of misuse of media is adultery. Watching indecent scenes, vulgar scenes from the TV shows, movies, and from social media finally spoils the purity of our emotions, purity of our relationships, purity of our sanskar and it damages our character. Now the question is already one person who is in addiction of media, who is already misusing media, how can he overcome the addiction of media? What is the root solution? Dear students, if you want the root solution, then first of all, we need to understand the root reason. 
that why people fall in the addiction of media why people fall in the misuse of media there are so many reasons like free time bad company bad friendship but the root reason is goal less life root reason is goal less life they don't have any goal in their life dear students if you don't have goal in your life you will become passenger in your life and this media and other people will become the driver in your life you drive your life don't allow others to drive your life so the root solution is set a big goal in your life don't set a small goal you set a big goal in your life because those who has the big goal in their life they don't have time to waste behind media and entertainment narendra modi elon musk mark zuckerberg bill gates sundar pichai such people actually ruling the world they are running the great organization they have the great vision great goal in their life they don't have time for having the entertainment in media for them their goal itself is the entertainment so my dear students you set a big goal in your life always our elder swami ji sadguru sri dev prasad das ji swami ji says that gurukulites are born to be great you are not born to do the ordinary works average works you are born to do the great works extraordinary works in your life so the root solution for overcoming the addiction of media is set a big goal in your life now you may have the question that in this modern era to completely stop media is not possible and even it is not suggested dear students if you want to achieve your great goal with the help of media you need to set two things number 1 is set the mindset of learning while using it invest your time for learning don't waste your time for just entertaining and before you watch anything before you open any social media just ask one question to yourself will it improve my knowledge and skill to achieve my goal if answer is yes watch it improve your knowledge and skill and achieve your goal and if answer is no then stop it if answer is no then stop it of course to stop it you need a brave heart but remember great goals demand great sacrifices if you can't sacrifice for your goal you can't achieve your goal so my dear students set a mindset of learning set a mindset of edutainment not the mindset of entertainment now the second thing is set the time set for using media dear student there must be a limited time for using social media video games tv etc i hope many parents might be watching this video session it's our humble request to all you parents that please set a time limit for using social media tv in your home if fixed time limit won't be there then automatically it will lead overuse of media misuse of media and finally it will turn in the addiction of media. already many of our teachers are following this time set for using media and they are living happy and peaceful family life if you will set your mindset for learning and time set for using media then definitely this same media will work to achieve your goal instead of damaging your goal now you may have question that if you will watch tv if you will play video games for the limited time then what will we do for the rest of the time very good question so my dear students now i will give you the do's and don'ts alternatives and restrictions you can follow it and you can remain safe from the misuse of media what are the alternatives you can do in place of media in place of watching tv and playing video games you can play the indoor games like chess carrom with your brother sister your mother father you can enjoy their company you can go for physical exercise you can improve your physical fitness you can go for body building also you can make your body strong you can go for reading good books you can read the story books religious books you can enrich your knowledge and already you learnt in gurukul that readers 
are leaders. You can go for learning some music, some musical instrument, singing the kirtans and tabla, flute, guitar, piano. As per your interest, you can learn any art. You can improve your English communication skill. You can also learn the cooking from your mother. You can try something in kitchen. You can learn something from your mother. It will be help to your mother also. And if you have such passion, then you can learn the software programming. You can learn the graphic design. You can learn the motion graphics. You can learn the video editing. If you have interest, you can learn different, different arts, different, different skills. And you can make your life more better. Now, what are the don'ts? What are the restrictions to be followed? I will tell you the four restrictions, four don'ts. They are the four criteria you have to follow for all the time. First point is, first criteria is, don't watch the time-wasting and non-productive contents. Second point is, don't watch the anti-values contents, in which you see people are speaking bad words, people are doing the vulgar things, people are having the addiction. Third point is, don't watch anti-family contents, in which you see the disrespect of elders, disrespect of parents, which encourages you to disrespect your parents, your elders, your brother, sister, which breaks our family relationship. Now the fourth point, last and most important point is, don't watch the anti-religion content. Don't watch such videos, such motivational speaker also, who skillfully disproves our Vedic culture, tradition and values. Don't watch such contents in which they disprove Pilaktika, country, worship of God, prayer to God. Don't watch such contents in which they promote non veg food. Don't watch such content in which they say that God is formless. Don't watch such contents in which they say that there is no God, there is no hell, no heaven, no pap, no puny. There is nothing. Let's just enjoy our life. Dear students, in Siksha Patri also Bhagavan Swaminarayan said that my devotees should not listen such person who skillfully disproves the dharma and devotion of God. So my dear students, these are the four restrictions we must follow in all the situation to remain safe from the influence of media. Dear students, if you will use media in a right way, it will make your life. And if you will use media in a wrong way, then it will break your life. Finally, choice is yours. I hope you might be noting down each and every points from this video session. After watching this video, whatever the points you learned, whatever the things you are going to apply in your life, please share your learnings and commitments in comment box. And don't forget, habits make our life better, not just mere knowledge. So let's develop a habit of using media in a right way, in an effective way, and let's achieve big goal in our life. Thank you. Jai Swami.